All right, Aaron, that begs the question. Is the offensive line going to be uh, up to the task in taking on the better teams this year? Well, we returned four or five starters, so you would hope that uh, we would be able to take on uh, better teams. Quite honestly, it's hard to hard to tell. Um, you know, experience does matter for offensive line, um, but it, it's going to be determined based on uh, how we play against, uh, you know, better teams. So we will see. You lose so much on defense. Uh, any concerns there? Of course, the secondary was star-studded, and, and most of those guys are gone. Yeah, on uh, the secondary uh, specifically, uh, there is some concerns. It's probably the weakness of the whole team. Uh, however, the front seven of Washington is probably one of the strongest. I would put them behind USC in the Pac-12. We got Vita Vea, who's going to be a, probably a top 10, top 15 pick on the defensive line next year. You got Azim Victor, who's probably the best inside linebacker in the Pac-12. Uh, so with those guys, I think the defense, uh, as long as they uh, can get pressure on quarterbacks, they'll be fine. So when we look at certain programs, Florida State, Alabama, Ohio State come to mind, we think, okay, they lost all these guys to the NFL draft and a number of them were underclassmen, but nobody's going to be too concerned because we know that it's being backfilled. Now at Washington, there, there's some other programs out there that are really good programs, but maybe they go in cycles and you're looking forward to, okay, 2017 may be an eight or nine win season. Man, we've got a chance to do something the next year. It's going to come together, that sort of thing. Chris Peterson's recruited at a place, I would say, in the last, and you're going to correct me if, if I'm missing this, maybe the last one or two recruiting cycles that is eventually, if he keeps it up, is going to get them to that place, but maybe not quite yet. So, uh, of course, Pac-12 North contentions uh, the expectation, but uh, is this team coming together for, for a 2017 run or maybe a year away? So this year was actually the year that they were scheduled to be a top five team, top 10 team. So last year they kind of arrived a little early and they did lose a bunch of leadership. That's to me, that's the concern. Buda Baker was a huge leader on the defense. Um, Chris Peterson's probably the best developer or coacher of uh, players. Um, he doesn't have the Alabama USC top five recruiting class every year but he coaches three stars into five stars in their fourth and fifth year. So the hope is, is that some of these uh, unheralded guys will step up. And I do think that they will be a top 10, top five uh, team this year.